This is actually harder than I thought. <laughs> I can't find anything beginning with A. What's happening, Free Gang? We are coming to you live, but not live, from inside the studio. Because today is a very, very fun day. We've got a very fun video, haven't we? We've had a very nice morning so far as well, haven't we? We've been, we've done all of your learning. We've got like a new routine. You're learning the guitar now. You're learning about time. Lots of fun stuff going on. But there's even more fun stuff coming up in today's video because we are going to be doing a special shopping challenge. This was actually a shopping challenge that was suggested by right, one of one you. One of the free gang. One of the free gang, yeah. You can put those suggestions out there. This was a while ago, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, they suggested it. You, one of you guys suggested it a while ago. It wasn't, it was suggested by the free gang. Not you, not you, not me, but you. <laughs> yes. That's true. Yeah, it was suggested a while ago by one of you guys. It's always good to give us your suggestions for videos because we do get round to them eventually. Eventually. Yeah, <laughs> they do. we do put them into a list and eventually we do get round to them. So yeah, put uh, in the comments below put any suggestions you have for future videos and we'll get round to them. You're giving them free reign, mummy. Yeah, they come up with the best ideas. They do. Just to let you know, mum, we got a plan for this, but we're not going to tell you. No, yeah, yeah, because today's video is all about Mummy versus Jojo. I'm going to be helping Jojo, of course. But the specific theme of today's shopping challenge is alphabets. As today is the A, B, C shopping challenge. That's right. So these guys, what they're going to be doing is not only they're going to be picking out loads of interesting shopping, they have a specific criteria to go by. They can have to pick one item each, which consists a letter of the alphabet. So basically, they're going to be getting a maximum of 26 items each, and each one has to be a letter of the alphabet. So it could be an O for an orange, and I'll give you guys any ideas, or an A for an apple. So we have to do every single letter of the alphabet? Yes. What happens if we can't find one? I don't know. Well, the, I'll, I'll figure that out with him, you can figure it out yourself. Yeah, so Bob's going to help Jojo, yeah. and I'm going to go on my own. So don't help him too much. Oh, I'll help him as much as I feel he needs. I'm against you. Yeah, yeah, you're against nice. mummy, but daddy's just going to film you. He's not really there to help you. No, I'm just going to give him some guidance and stuff like that and remind him of what letters he hasn't got yet. But of course, in these inter-family challenges, it is up to you, free gang, to decide on who you think wins this challenge. In fact, let us know in the comments now who you think will win. Do you think Jojo will win this or do you think Katie will win this? Me? What? Are we only getting food or are we getting like uh, food? <laughs> food and drink. It's food and drink. I think he was trying to cover the letter L by his son. Oh, Lego. <laughs> yeah, is that what you were thinking? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking like, oh, uh, are you going to get like toilet rolls? Oh, we always end up getting the toilet rolls. Oh, no. We do end up getting yeah, the toilet rolls. We always rolls. end up getting the toilet rolls. You're going like, to? No, it has, it has to be food or drink. No household no, items. Yeah, no, no, no household items. No, items. you can't do B for bleach. Yeah. Or T for toilet roll. And there is no money limit on this as well. It's just about getting the foods that begin with the letter of an alphabet. You, you can't, have to cover everyone. You, you can't go do Jack for Jenga. No, you can't. You can't so we're not going to buy the Jenga game. No. We've already got Jenga. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, shall we get out and start this challenge then? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> So we are here outside the supermarket, Tesco's again, that's right. Comment below if you think it's your Tesco's. A lot of you seem to think it is your Tesco's. Maybe it is, I don't know. Hang on, we do go to different Tesco's though. Okay, this is the one that we go to a lot though. We've, uh, we have done other ones, other challenges and other ones, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we're going to start this challenge now. Jojo and Daddy, you're going to be up one end of the supermarket. Yeah, we'll start one down one end. Because we don't want to get all the same things. Yeah, I'm going to start at the other end. Not the other end of the alphabet. We're, we'll both start with A's. Yeah. We don't have to do it in order, though. That's the thing. We're going to be ticking off letters as we can. I can do the alphabet backwards, though. Go for it. Well, Jojo, do you want to do it? Okay, Jojo's going to do it. Ready, steady, go. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H C F E D C B A. Good. Wow. Good. He can <laughs> That's still like do the it. fastest you've done it ever as well. Comment below if you can do the alphabet backwards. See if you can write it backwards. Comment below if it's written backwards. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start at one end. Yeah. I'm going to start up the alcohol end. But no. I'm not going to get any alcohol. Oh. No alcohol for A. No. You and Daddy are going to start up the apple end, yeah? <laughs> we don't have to start with A. No, I'm oh, just yeah. giving you an example. Also, I've brought some paper with me so I can write down when I've... Because 
I might find something that's P when I'm only at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to tick off. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. tick. So you've got your phone. You're going to do it on your phone. Yeah. Okay. Let's go then for the fun. <laughs> Let's go. Ready to go, Jojo? Oh, it's onions. Oh, yes. That's a tricky letter to get. Well done. <laughs> 25 letters left. Okay. Hummus. H for hummus. Good one. Hummus and onion. That's looking out to be quite a tasty meal. Right. A. A, A, A. What are you getting? Peas and peas. Oh, very clever. Because normally we'd say oranges or clementines, wouldn't we? I'm not the wise one for nothing. They're not the wise one for nothing. <laughs> People call you that, do they? I really want to get juice. Oh, juice. But you've already got O for onion. Or are you going to swap? Yeah, <laughs> you, young man, are very cheeky. This is actually harder than I thought. <laughs> I can't find anything beginning with A. S for strawberries. Oh, good one. S. That's an easy one. Strawberries. Get all these berries for my porridge. You've got an S and a B. Packs are quite small. So. Two packs? I think it's one item per letter, actually. You can't get two of the same thing. Oh, can you? Yeah. You're making up the rules now, are you? Yeah, I'll make it up. Okay. W for waffles. I must admit, you're doing really good so far with this. I wouldn't have thought of waffles for W. Well, I'm the wise one. Oh, oh W for wise one, eh? There's nothing beginning with A. Oh, I found. What have you found? Ice cream. Ice cream. I for ice cream. That's a very good one. You want to get that? Jojo, I shouldn't be interfering, but they've got magnums, chocolate ice lollies. Oh, yeah! M for magnum. Oh, yeah, okay. M, yeah, this is M. <laughs> we have jacket, maybe? Or jacket potatoes. J on the list. Jacket J potatoes. Okay. Hey, what, what are we going to do for you? You? I don't know. <laughs> We just have to keep our eyes out and just see if anything named with a U we can find. Oh, uh, what about X as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get all of the easier letters first and then we'll come to those later. What? What is it? Quad for Q. Yeah! That's really good work because the Q, I had no idea what you could have got. Good stuff, mate. I might have to actually skip to B because I can't find an A thing. What? Um, okay, we think that counts, do we? Unsweetened soil. <laughs> I got me, that's quite clever, man, that's clever. We haven't got tea yet. Look what I've got. Tea. And We've already got orange juice. Well, this is pineapple juice, but you're getting pineapple juice. Yeah, tropicana tea. <laughs> Oi! What are you two doing? <laughs> that was a close one. She might see your products and get ideas and copy them. No, oh, I'm not allowing her to do that. No. Are you looking at pasta? We haven't done a P yet. What are you? <laughs> no. I'll pee for pasta. No, get away. She's unbelievable, she is. <laughs> what are you taking? That pee for pasta? Oh, she's no, that's an R. It's an R for rigatoni. Jojo, that actually is my favourite kind of pasta. <laughs> oh, you're lucky. Yeah, what's your favourite kind? Like spaghetti pasta. And also, Finn, what's your favourite kind of pasta? Leave it in that in the comments below. We want to hear. Yeah, so I'm rigatoni, you're. Did you say you're spaghetti? Yeah. I'm you like macaroni as well, didn't you? Yeah, A lot. Right, let's move on. Beans. 
Oh, Jojo, you stumbled across the Wicked Kitchen stuff. A veggie pasta. Why, me? haven't we already got W? No. Look. Me, a veggie. Veggie pasta. <laughs> what is it? Veggie pasta and meat. Amaze balls. Not <laughs> amaze balls. I like that. What's that? Mushroom pizza. Oh, we've had those before. They're I well nice. So, wait, what letter is that, though? That's P. We haven't done P. <laughs> we haven't done P, okay. I'm on I now. And this is impossible. I for impossible. <laughs> Have we got an N yet? No. Oh, no. <laughs> egg no. <laughs> We've got a no. I'll see if make a no. Naked bars. Good shout. These are down here. What flavours do you want? Cocoa Crunch. No, no. Cocoa Crunch. I would like. No, one pack. You can't get two. K, 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 K. K. I wonder if there are any Z or X named crisps. <laughs> Zonconian? You're just making up words now, aren't you? Kidney beans. Four for a pound, jackpot. D for Doritos. I'm nearly done now, guys. And I've only just found something beginning with A. Almond. <laughs> F for props. I've only got one more thing to get and I think I'm going to find it down the Christmas aisle. You just figured out why, haven't you? Yeah. Yogurt. Our Pro Yogurt. Our Pro Yogurt. Great shout, man. Come on, let's go. I'm all done, guys. <laughs> we just got our one. We got an X. We got an X. Did you? You got yeah. an X. Oh, lucky. Let's get out, quick. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Should we go and pay? We just finished. Should we go and pay? Let's pay together then. <laughs> and so we are back, guys. How was this shopping challenge? That was it was great! It was harder than I thought. <laughs> it actually took me ages. And I kept, I probably walked about 2,000 steps. Did you count on the phone? I don't know, I should have a look really. Because I was like, one minute, I was up one end of the supermarket, then I was up the other end, and then I was up, because I all of a sudden think of something that began with a certain letter, and yeah. it'd be right down the other end. How did you find it, Jojo? I found, I found it sort of tricky, but sort of all right and same time. You were really impressive. There was a lot of letters which weren't the obvious easy ones that you were just coming out with suggestions for, or you were finding things. I was really impressed. I thought I would have to help him a lot more, but I didn't actually have to help you that much in the end. Really? Yeah, and he, he made so many great, very, very interesting choices. Jojo, what was your hardest letter to find? I think it was you and X. Yeah, X was tricky. Yeah. Did you get it? Did you get everything? I, I think so. Um, my, the hardest letter for me was A. Really? Why? Because I thought I can't go for Apple because you've probably gone for Apple because you were down that end. Right. And then I just was looking crazily for like about 10 minutes trying to find something. <laughs> and then I literally just got home and it just came to me, avocado. Well, we've got avocados, don't worry. Don't go and steal one from the kitchen. But no, I that's got, not I... allowed, that's not allowed. You, you cheat if you do that. I could have gone for avocado all that time and I just didn't even think of it. Right, so are you ready to start showing the, everyone what you got? Yes. So we're going to do this in order A to Z. So first, bring out the food you got for the letter A. I just did it straight away. So we got from Jojo apple and mango juice, and Mummy, you got almonds, ground almonds. almonds. Yeah, I got ground almonds because I use them to make certain things as well. Why didn't them. you go for avocado? Because I didn't think of avocado at the time. Until it was late, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, very interesting. Okay, get the ones for B now. So we got blueberries and baked beans. You got two packs, didn't you, as well? <laughs> baked beans, quite an obvious choice. Okay, good. This is, this is good so far. Okay, letter C now, please. Can't wait to see this one. Chips, of course we've got chips. And chickpeas. I actually got four of these because they're on offer. Four for a pound, so yeah. Four? I just thought there's no point in putting them all on the table, but I did get four of these. <laughs> like each one was 25 
25 pence right good maths yeah, well 25 done 25 pence each one yeah oh uh, yeah okay very good very good Remember, free gang, it's going to be down to you guys who you think has won this challenge. So pay close attention to what their selections are. So the next letter is D. What have we got for D? You'll never know what my D is. What did you get, then? Doritos and dates. Quite an obvious choice in dates, I think. Doritos. Barbecue rib flavour as well. Oh, I bet they're nice. Good choice, Jojo. Do you know what would be good? If you got a date and a Dorito and put them together. <laughs> She has the weirdest food combinations. Absolutely not. It's a good combo. Right, you've got to get out the letter E now, please. So we've got Easy Peelers from Jojo. Nice. A lot of people might have thought oranges or clementines, but Easy Peelers. Does that count? We don't know. Yeah, does it count? Does it say Easy Peeler on the pack? It does say It does, peeler. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making it up, is it? Enchilada kit, very inventive, mummy. I think that will do for our Mexican mukbang night. Yeah, so we might be doing a Mexican mukbang. Let us know in the comments below if you would like to see that and if you'd have like to see us answer some of your questions as well. Anyway, next letter is letter F. This one's gonna be really weird. What? Oh, right. Uh, so you got flaxseed from mummy. Jojo, tell us what this F is. Frog scottle. <laughs> Even though it's not called frog scottle, it's called sparkling water. But that's what we call sparkling water. We call it. But it says fizz. I guess fizzy water. Fizzy water, yeah? yeah. But frog scottle is what we chose it for. Comment below, free gang, if you think that's acceptable. But also, comment below if you know what film frog scottle is from. Good, good. Okay, next letter is letter G. G for goody, goody, goodness. G is this. Of course, his G is this. You mad G. So we got garlic salt from mummy, and of course, grapes, Jojo's favourite food. Garlic salt. Okay. For this, I will use this as well because I try to only get things that I will definitely use as well. Okay, good. On to letter H now, please. This is exciting. Hummus from Jojo Sweet. Ah, uh, I remember <laughs> the same. But you got plain hummus. I didn't even know what hummus you picked up. Sweet chili hummus. Ah. Oh, sweet and nutty. It's good that you both got two different types of hummus. Yeah, I yeah. like sweet chili. I got a bigger. Well. This is a bigger pack as well. I don't know if we've ever had sweet chili hummus before. Nice. I bet that's nice. Oh, the Doritos and that together. That. Oh, oh yeah, great combo. Yeah, yeah, not like dates and Doritos, mummy. Get those out of my face. Right. Next letter. We're going on to letter I. Oh, so we got. What's this? Iceberg, Iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce, very clever, mummy. That was a tough one, I. There's not much things that you not. Like. No. I got ice cream. Yeah, this is one of the ones I thought we'd struggle on. Then he just went, ice cream. Fudge brownie. Fudge brownie, oh, nice. It's very nice ice cream. That was I, good stuff, guys. This is looking very impressive. I would win on the healthy choice there. Oh, it's not about that. Stop trying to convince the free game. Okay, let's get a J. Oh, so what we got? Jacket potatoes. And jalapeno grills. Jalapeno. Jalapeno grills. Wait, say Jalapeno, Jay. yeah. Very inventive, mummy. Yeah, and I really like this because Jojo was like, Jay, jacket, jacket, what is it though? And then, oh, jacket potato, that'll do. Because we had to make sure that we were getting food that we would actually eat and use rather than just any old thing. If we bought a jacket, I don't know what we'd do with that. An actual jacket. Yeah. So, put the baked beans you got with jacket. Yes, of course. Great combo. Great. Okay, letter K, please. Oh, Jojo's way ahead of it. Okay, so we've got kidney beans. Red kidney beans is name. but I, I, I think we're going to allow that kidney beans and kettle chips. So the brand begins with K, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is where it got very interesting. Oh, good choices, guys. I'm liking this. The variety is amazing. No, I did get four of these as well. Were they on offer? They were on offer, yeah. No, you can't resist an offer. Okay, if you'd like to go for letter L now, please. Lemons, quite an obvious choice. What's this? Lemon and lime, double L. <laughs> lemon and lime marmalade. Yeah. Oh, marmalade, yeah. yeah. Oh, lemon and lime marmalade! <laughs> I think Jojo likes that. I wonder what that's gonna taste like. I bet that will taste very tangy. We didn't it, get any bread. It, it looked, <laughs> we didn't get any bread. We missed out bread for beans. Oh. That is interesting. It looks almost like glime. It's like radioactive. Get it away. It looks like slime. Like slime. slime. Yes, yeah, slime. <laughs> it does actually. Okay, good. Bread. Next letter, letter M. This one might be my favorite. Okay. Oh, mango, what a surprise, yeah. Wouldn't have seen that coming from Katie. <laughs> mango, I'm not surprised. I know, mummy and mangoes, eh? And this one, I must admit, I had some influence if you would have seen Free Gang. Magnum Vegan Classic. They just brought these out and I'd heard about these and I just saw it and I went, Jojo, can we get that? I don't know what letter it will be. He suggested C for chocolate and I said, well, there's a big M on there, so what am Magnum? You know Magnum, the chocolate ice lollies? Yeah. Ice creams? It's those, but a vegan version. <gasps> 
I know. Get I those away from me now. I know. I think it's. <laughs> That's what you said about marmalade. <laughs> okay, on to the letter N now, please. I've got a confession to make. What? I accidentally got two things. What? For N? Yeah. I don't oh. know how. I don't know how it happened. She got two N's. What did you get? So I got these. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. I Thank know. You. I don't know. We got the same thing, Jojo. He tried to get two packs. Did you? You tried, yeah. But we got different flavours, so that's good. Yeah. And What's this other thing you got? Then? I forgot that I'd already got them, but like I had a list what, of letters. What, you crossing it off? I was, but I forgot to cross it off. So I got some um, nuggets instead. You didn't get just one of these, though, did I got you? Three. I got but they were on offer as well. Yeah, they're meat free chicken style nuggets. Oh, they look really nice. So, eight nuggets, but I don't know why I got two. I wasn't just trying to win even more, I just literally, mm. I just literally completely forgot that I'd already got those. It could go against the free gang, that's up to you though, you decide. Okay, onto the letter O now, please. This is going to be an interesting one, an O. Ah, oh. <laughs> a bottle. Oats, oh, very obvious choice, obvious choice, mummy, oats. And Jojo, you actually changed your mind. What did you get originally? Oh yeah, onion. You got an onion, didn't you? Yeah, he saw the machine where they were making fresh orange juice and he was like, and we got so excited because we normally see that in America and Whole Foods. And he's like, oh, take the onion back, take the onion back. Okay, so the letter P now, please. This is quite a good one. P. A lot of good foods beginning with P. What's this one, Jojo? Pizza and pistachio. That was an interesting choice, Mommy. We've been really into eating a lot of pistachios recently, yeah. haven't we? Oh, the pizza feels so like squidgy. Like yeah, that. we've had this one before. A barbecue mushroom sourdough pizza is really nice. Wicked Kitchen, they do so many mm. cool things. And uh, Georgie, Mummy Fizz from Family Fizz, told me that pistachios are really good for regulating your sleep patterns. Yeah. And we need these because we've just come back from Miami and we have had a bad jet lag. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, pistachios. Cool, good work. Right, now this is a big one. What have you got for Q? This would have been hard, but I just walked past these and I just saw them and I was like, yes. Oh, quinoa, of course. That's such an obvious food, quinoa chips. Can you watch it? These are not, I've had these before as well, it's so good. <laughs> and Jojo, he got corn pieces, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, these are corn meat free pieces. They're similar to your nuggets, but I think yeah. you know are bread. And these were on offer. So much of my stuff was on offer. Yeah, they, quite a few of ours were. That was a well. pound. Pound? Wow, that's a bomb. Yeah. Okay, on to R. Pirate's favourite letter of the alphabet. Are you ready for the next one? R. <laughs> yeah. I like this, Jojo got this one when we still had P open and I was like, is that P for pasta? And he went, no, mummy will think that's the obvious thing. I'm gonna get R for rigatoni. Oh. Yeah, oh, R. exactly. <laughs> yeah, R. this is my favorite pasta as well. I love rigatoni. Rigatoni. R. And you got raspberries. That, that would have been such an obvious choice for you as well. Yeah. I got raspberries. I love that we got such different ones like this. Cause I would have never thought of that for an R. Okay, on to S. Again, this is a very easy one. I'm interested to see what you guys have got. This wasn't that, it wasn't that easy. Shredded, oh, S, there's so many things. Oh, Sausages, okay. sourdough bread. Shredded wheat. Shredded wheat Whoa, and strawberries. Oh, it's broken. Mummy, did you break it and try and eat into it? Look, she's been eating into it for a game. That was Nibbly Mouse, wasn't it? Nibbly Mouse it? has been running around Tesco's, eh? It, it looks like a strawberry's missing. Nibbly Mouse is eating that. <laughs> okay, on to your next letter, guys. T. <laughs> yeah, this one from Jojo. Mine's a good one. Ah! Tea. Jojo, I got tea. Tea for tea. <laughs> that doesn't even require any thinking. Yeah, and I like his one as well. He went to for the juice, and I was like, what, you can't get pineapple juice? We've got a pea already. I don't know if we had a pea then, but he's like, no, tea for Tropicana. So he went straight for a brand. Ah, oh, going for the brands again, Jojo. Yeah. He got pineapple juice will and it, apple juice. Will it, brand man. Will it, go brand against, man. will it go against you though? You decide. Right, on to you. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. I'm interested to see what you guys have got. So you. Oh, we got the same thing. Well, sort of the same thing. I got unsweetened almond milk. And you got um, UHT unsweetened. Double U. Double U? Yeah. W UH H W. It's not a W, no. <laughs> UHT unsweetened. Soy drink, you both got milks. Unsweetened, that was a good thing to go for. So, yeah. this end of the alphabet is where things get really difficult, guys. So, next is V. What have you got for V, Jojo? What have you got, Mommy? So, what's he got? He got veggie pasta and a maize ball. So it's basically a vegan pasta and meatballs. This looks really nice. So, it's, it's veggie pasta and meatballs. Ah, so, you got yeah. away with the V for veggie. Yeah. And mine is stuffed vine leaves. Stuffed vine leaves. Oh, yeah. they're stuffed. First of all, stuff, vine leaves. But they are actually vine leaves. What do you think, Free Gang? It's up to you. Who's going to win this? 
The tension is getting me. Okay, V, next is W. Not two U's, W. Waffles, waffles, waffles. He shouted the word waffles way too loud in there. He just yeah. saw it in the freezer and went, waffles, because it was in an off, I think, uh, these are like 150 or something. Oh, did, yeah, did you make loads of people jump? Did lots of people waffle about you afterwards? Yeah. They did, okay, cool. And you got walnuts, mummy, walnuts. There's lots of nuts going on around here. Which is quite convenient, because you are, in fact, mummy, you are nuts. Three more letters, next. This is probably the most difficult one, X. What did we have for X? Oh no. He's holding it back, he wants to see what mummy's got first. Please be nice to me about Go. This. I went down the Christmas or the Xmas aisle and got some Xmas chocolates. That is pathetic! You just spat them. That's how pathetic this is. That is pathetic. Chocolate mint things. These are just mint chocolates. They're not. You, have, you mostly have them around. Christmas. No, you have them after 8 o'clock. Xmas. No, that is Xmas terrible. Chocolate. If it had Christmas on there, I might have let that go, but that's terrible. It's good. I'm not trying to influence you, free game, but compared to this, Xylitol sweetener. Who, uh, who helped him on that? Yeah, one? I helped. No, but he found it. I, I helped him. I came up with the idea, but still. You could have thought of that yourself. You know about this. It's like, what, like you got to let people off on the X because X is a difficult one. No, no. Comment below if you know any other foods beginning with X. Yeah. But I'm not allowing that, Mummy. Oh, you're not allowing it. He's, he's, not, he's not having it. It's up to the free gang, Jojo. It's not up to you. Okay. Two more left. Penultimate letter is Y. Yogurt. Quite an obvious one, I thought. Yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> Alpro, both yogurts. This is one as well, which I thought would be difficult and I'd, I'd have to help Jojo with, but he just came up which with it. Which one did you get, Jojo? I got blueberry. And oh, you blueberry. got vanilla. It's good that you got, both got different flavours. Yeah. But yeah, he came up with this himself. He just shouted out and went, Yo, yogurt, Alpro yogurt. So even remember that they do it as well. They were on the end of the aisle as well, so that reminded me. Because they were on offer as well, pound. So, on to the last letter now, the letter Z. What have you guys got? This is a tricky one too. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same. Yes, so these are zucchinis. We call them courgettes in England, but they're called zucchinis in America. We spend a lot of time there. Yeah. And it tends to be whenever we make noodles out of them, we call it zucchini noodles or zoodles. Yeah, yeah. Quite an obvious choice. I can't imagine there was much else I said that you could have got. So, is this a get out clause? Are they both disqualified because of this? Remember, it's up to you, free game. So, what do you guys think of what each other got? What do you think of what mummy got, Jojo? I think mummy did really well, but not better than me. Oh, what oh. do you think? That'd be fine and talk. I feel like I've got healthier stuff than you, Jojo. Oh, is that where you're trying to score points? Of course, so it is down to you, free game. So, leave your comments below now. Who do you think won this challenge? Who do you think did the best with the letters of the alphabet, got the most interesting food, the variety, actually got as close to the letters as possible, or whatever that means, you know, brands, exact foods. You decide, you make up the criteria, you're in charge here. So let us know in the comments below. And Jojo's getting into a naked bar already. It's that time of the video. And also guys, let us know in the comments if you like us having these family challenges where it's kid versus teen, parent versus child, or Ooh. mummy versus daddy. Thank you, Jojo. Let us know in the comments below. We love your suggestions. We love your feedback as well. We'll do the shout outs in the next video. But if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing the fun family challenges we do, then we'd love it if you subscribed. And hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Naked bar time.